All right, folks, and welcome back to our venture in the PlayStation video game of many of our childhoods, as you know, Final Fantasy VII. And surprisingly, this time around, no technical difficulties. I'm currently running on my second generation, uh, thinner version of the PlayStation 2, as that one doesn't have as many playing hours as my first generation brick does, which pretty much is getting close to its time where it needs to be laid to rest. So as I'm checking the chat right quick, Greetings and salutations to Kayla Tin. Thanks for joining in. And for all the rest of you who are joined in as well, I thank you very much. So with that, we're going to get started here. So currently on this time around, we finished uh, our, our journey through Nibelheim. And off, uh, off screen, I actually leveled my characters up a bit to get them a little bit more prepared for uh, what's coming up in the next set of uh, events. So we should be good to go. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to continue over to Rocket Town, to which there we will meet another new character named Sid Highwind. So that'll be our next venture. And then after that, we're also going to go through a few other things. But we're going to start here with getting to uh, know Sid Highwind. I also got a few things for my characters off screen. They all now have uh, gold armlets, which uh, adds a little bit more defense from what they had before. So if you go to the item shop, no, the weapon shop here, then uh, you'll be able to get them some new, new weapons in that regard. So if I remember correctly, I believe Sid's house is over here. Yeah, this looks like it's it. And there's the treasure box. Oh, a drill arm. I believe that would be for Barrett. Yep. And it's actually less, but it does have double the materia growth. Honestly, it's not that much. It's not that much of a decrease. The only thing is we lose our materia pairing. Well, I'm not too crazy about ice. I'm not too crazy about ice. Yeah, we're gonna stick with what we got so far. It's not that bad. All right, so with that. Okay. Yeah, we go out back here. Yeah, here it is. Does everybody just keep their doors open and unlocked and stuff these days? <laughs> he had to throw that in there. Nope. As a matter of fact, we got beef with Shinra. Shinra. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm pretty sure not even the Shinra would do that at this point.
Okay, let's head over to the rocket and uh, see what the captain's up to. What, they didn't they bother to put an elevator on this thing? Just hanging out. <laughs> I will admit, I do like Sid's music. Um. I'll just, just for time's sake, we'll just uh, learn about him first. full of himself, is he not? Wait, it's tilting and they're not doing anything to stabilize it, and it's in the direction of the town. Why didn't you just go to Midgar? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Pretty much all he's going to say. Oh, that particular music putting you to sleep, or is it this one? Um, trying to remember what we have to do to advance the story. Oh, 
Okay. All right, there it is. Oh, we got a potty mouth here. Well, not the first. Oh, this one. <laughs> yeah, it can. It is pretty relaxing. Yeah, this dude got a serious chip on his shoulder. chip on his shoulder. Ah, I see. Well, I appreciate you coming through, Kayla. What did happen? Mm. Well, for something as complicated as a rocket, you're probably better off actually working like a snail. In the case of rocket science, we all know that oxygen plays a critical role in the in the engine's propulsion. So, making sure that the oxygen is properly set is uh, probably a good idea. Uh, in most cases, if I remember correctly, on the Saturn V rocket, they used a combination on the first stage of its propulsion. Uh, kerosene and liquid oxygen so there you go again and then in the other two stages of its propulsion they used uh, liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen so as you can see oxygen is a key part plus in their fuel cells that also powered all the electrical instruments they used of course liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen fused the two together so, of course, that generated electricity, but also because there's two hydrogens and an oxygen makes water, it also made water for the astronauts. So, all that to say, I can see where Shara is being concerned to make sure that the oxygen tanks are working properly because, as the final issue, that's how the folks breathe in outer space. You ever seen uh, the movie Apollo 13? And you remember that story that one of the oxygen tanks blew because of a, uh, a damaged heater coil inside the second tank. It literally triggered an explosion, which of course left the uh, service module on 13 deprived of one whole tank of oxygen and the other tank, which was adjacent to the second tank that blew was heavily damaged to which at that point it was leaking the rest of the oxygen out of there. So in combination with that, they used the lunar excursion module as a lifeboat to get them back, to get them close enough back to Earth until it's time to jettison the lunar module and the service module and then return into the atmosphere via the command module. So with that being said, I'd say Shara is very right to be concerned if the oxygen tank is not reading properly. 
considering just that historical information that I know of. Just goes to show that it's necessary to be careful. But the Apollo 13 accident was actually something that was never foreseen on anyone. Nobody even knew that the coil in the tank was damaged at the time. Uh, no, Kayla, I have not seen Hidden Figures. I'll be, I'll be sure to try to check that out. Now here's the interesting thing, is he going up there by himself? They had at least three astronauts on, on the any of the Apollo missions, and then they had like six or seven people on the space shuttle. Why is this guy going up there by himself? But let this be a learning uh, experience right here, folks, is don't rush stuff, because that's how you get hurt. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll put that in my schedule and try to check that out. Straight up potty mouth, isn't he? <laughs> hmm. Who knows, maybe Shara read up on Apollo 13. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Kayla. I find this interesting that the engines would get severely hot depending well depending on what fuel source they're using but usually the combustion is right at the uh, the bell of the of the uh, outlets to which I saw in one particular uh, in one particular documentary that the liquidity of the uh, fuel source helps to kind of cool the bell down.
Ooh, savage, Kayla. Savage. <laughs> Oh no, Shara, he might have saved his life in the process. Well, if you had a better uh, attitude, maybe it would be. He's got a lot of bitterness. Good heavens. dude. Oh shoot, how do you trigger the next event? Uh, t -t 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 -t. I think we do have to talk to Palmer. Oh, wait a minute, I remember. We got a eavesdrop. That's what it is. We got a eavesdrop. There we go. Okay, in that plain sight, how does Rufus not see them? In that literal plain sight. dude want to borrow, borrow the tiny bronco for he got a chopper and a big old airship what do you need the tiny bronco for yo if you got across the ocean why not just use that that ship that i was at junin you need the tiny Bronco for? And how many people can that even fit? I'm just saying. Look, even Sid says about the airship.
Bruh. I mean, I'm just asking, Kayla. I'm just asking. I wonder if I wonder if this game was ever featured on Game Sense or something like that, and they asked the same questions. Jeez, sound just like a a particular government entity I know of. When you want, when they ask nicely and they don't get what they want, they'll just take it. All right, let's see if we can talk with them. Security. I think we're gonna have to fight him. Yep. All right, here we go.
Well, that was quite an event. By the way, you see how fast that Sid was running? <laughs> this dude got some legs on him, don't he? <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hmm. Oh, man. The more help, the better at this point, right? The bear's like, I don't care. Does that make him a numbskull as well? Temple of the Ancients. Interesting. I think it would bother just about anyone. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Let's see. Well, first of all, let's. I mean, they didn't really lose much. much so it's not a big deal uh, let's see how we fare with this but let's save at first at the very least let's save Wutai area. Must mean that Wutai is nearby. Maybe there's some new weapons over there. Yep, yeah, one thing I always, one thing I learned and I'm practicing and definitely applying now is always, whenever you go to a new town, always find out what, uh, what weapons and armor they have.
Hmm. Got a good set of experience over here. You know what? We are 70 grand short from being able to buy that villa in uh, Costa de Sol. Yeah, we're about a little less than 70 grand short. So that's pretty cool. Now, normally if you had uh, Yuffie in this party, then you'd have to deal with her actually stealing your materia, and then you have to chase her all around Wutai to get it back. I just didn't want to deal with that. tell you, these monsters over here, they get a good set of uh, experience. It's not as much as the uh, when you trip the alarm over in uh, in Junin, but still, it's not bad. Oh, he had a dead end there. I go too far? Oh, wait, is that it? It's close. Oh, now that's a good set of experience. Almost two grand worth. Now that's a nice one. All right, we should be almost there. I right, see if next, maybe next time, try to see if we can bring the tiny Bronco around. I don't think we can, though. Yeah, I don't really think we can, but. We'll see what we can do, but let's see what we got for Wu Tai. And we got a safe point in here, too. That's good. 
So I think what I will do is... Yeah, let's start by saving first and then we'll explore around. See what they got here. Item shop. Their ethers are a little expensive, but that's okay. Uh, fire veil cast. Fire three on all opponents. Bolt three on all opponents. Trunk of feather. Dexterity. Eh. Well, let's see if we can sell some stuff that we don't really need. We don't really need grenades anymore. So let's get rid of that. I don't really see any at this point much are uh, very much value on uh, potions, but I'll leave just a few. Phoenix Downs probably have uh, some, uh, I really don't think we are actually going to get Yuffie, I really kind of don't want to. No, we're going to keep that because we're going to equip Vincent with that. Soft. Yeah. I mean, eventually down the road, we're actually going to get some items that can actually drain the three of three of the elements. But we'll keep this for now. Carbon bangles, I think, are pretty much useless at this point. I thought, thought there were some silver armlets in here. So we'll get rid of the carbon bangles. We don't really need them at this point. All right, we'll tie that up for now. quick and it will come come back around I think it's going up the mountain yeah it is it's going up the mountain we don't we don't want to do anything up there just yet Let's see what we got in here Looks like a restaurant.
Murasame. Almost 11 extra attack points. Sure, why not? Diamond Knuckle. Chainsaw. Way to go, way to go Mafia style with that, huh? Uh, go ahead, we'll equip Rocky with one. Yeah, we'll do that for him. We'll do that for Kate Sith, sure. Yeah, we'll do that for uh, him as well. So yeah, as you can see, we have just put in roughly what? Almost like 40 grand just right there, so. Oh yeah, he was doubling up his stuff, okay. Normal growth. Okay, so attack percentage is down a bit, but the attack points go up a bit. Sure, we'll equip it. Tiger Fang, and if we do... Diamond Knuckle. Yeah, it was a Diamond Knuckle. Okay, that works. Heavy Vulcan. Chainsaw. Eh, okay. See how the material is structured. Ah, uh, we're not too far from getting Cure 3. Got a little ways to go to Master Ice. Got a little ways to get Quake 3. A little ways to Master Lightning. A little bit of a ways for HP and MP+. Plus. Oh, that's right. Now that that's, now that that's there, let me see. Counter Attack, Death Blow, HP and MP+. Plus. Now let's equip long range for a cloud. Let's grow up. Let's grow Destruct. Because I could possibly see sometime down the road Destruct coming in Andy. Because it's D barrier, then it's D spell. Especially if someone equips himself. I think D spell would be good. If someone cast a spell on themselves, like Reflect or something like that. So that might come in handy. So we'll start leveling that up as well. This is paradise for a lot of folk. This, this is just cat nation right here. And it looks like there's a cat in the way, so I can't actually get up those staircases. Yeah, the cat's in the way.
All right, we're going to move on. Also gonna change out a couple of folks to just equip some of their latest weapons. to get a few more gold armlets, but at the same time, we're not really going to use these characters as much, but I'll give them something anyway. So that's cool. Well, I'll just give these guys a little something. Okay, now we get to make our way all the way back. But first, before we do that, let's save our progress. <laughs> the funny thing about this music is at one moment, it seems like it's just really, you know, just dark and crazy. Then the next moment, it's kind of nice. But that was one of the reasons why I just could not mark this as something I could really listen to because of just those parts where it was just kind of like discomforting. It was just like, nah, I cannot. All right, let's get a little, let's get a little stuff in here. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so. Just a little bit under their their uh, hit point, their maximum hit points. Ooh, critical. But as you can see, that's why it's good to uh, check every town that you come to, because you never know what they have to that could possibly help you out. They just unfortunately didn't have any materia. 
which if anyone knows, that's one of the reasons why Yuffie actually tries to steal materia from you because her hometown doesn't have any. All right, let's 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 just show you how bolt what bolt three does. But it takes quite a bit of magic points. But it's also my favorite attack. It takes a lot of magic points, but it's one of my favorite attacks. Hello there, Marie. Good to see ya. Yes, indeed, Marie. Yes, indeed. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, there it is. This ain't a bad spot to try to level up also. I think I got tricked by that one again. Try trying. See what trying does. Nice. suck if the bridge actually broke. And there's the tiny Bronco. Alright, we're gonna get rolling here in just a second.
All right, so we're floating around, floating around. This is Cosmo Canyon. Over there is Nibelheim, where we left our buggy. Oh, we can't go up there. It's not in this rig. So if you go over here, What a coincidence. Figures it would be Dio. Hmm. Ultimate destruction magic, huh? Well, if that is true, that would explain why Sephiroth is trying to get over there. Seriously, too. All right, so with that, that's all you got. Give me some weapons. All right, whatever. Looks like you don't have anything. All right, so we have to go to the gold saucer. So we have to go to Coral Village. enemies though.
<laughs> it's funny when you level up at a certain point, and then your old enemies, you're like, these guys would give, hardly give me any experience. So, let's tent up here, just because, we'll save, Alright, just to advance the story forward, we're gonna head on over to uh, Battle Square. Kinda funny, cause that's where all the crazy stuff last time we were here went down. But yeah, we're gonna go here. And then we're gonna go to the exhibit hall. Or the museum, as Dio likes to call it. showroom. So this is what we're looking for right here. So the moment you uh, select the keystone, you're going to enter a sequence to where you basically need to give Dio a good show in the in the battle arena. So in exchange for him giving you the keystone. Now whether you, it doesn't matter how long you last in the battle arena, he'll he'll uh, he'll honor the deal.
So that's basically what he wants.
my item sack wasn't broken, I probably could have did it. Yeah, if the item sack hadn't broke, I probably would have been able to do go all the way. But, whatever. But just as a heads up, this is where you can get Cloud's uh, ultimate limit break attack, which is called Omni Slash. I think you have to get up to 34,000 uh, battle points and then you go to one of these machines to get it. So yeah. I'll have to do that later though. Alright, we're out of here. was working just a moment ago. What are you talking about? That's a bummer. I'm gonna go full screen for this.
Hmm. Seems like Hojo was trying to do something. Seems like all those folks in Cape Stan were probably some experiment. Or what? Sid is just out. <laughs> hmm. What we got here? Hey, check it out. What up? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Is that right? Eh. Well, that's interesting. Uh, let's go full screen for this one.
being that Tifa always wanted uh, Cloud to save her and all that, we're just going to go that route just to fulfill that wish. All right, well, let's just do that. Admit that was kind of cringe. That was so cringe. All right, we'll go full screen for this one as well. What do you think she said to him? <laughs> All right. Oh, I guess she didn't say anything. Oh gosh, don't tell me, don't tell me Tifa is a soon. Please don't tell me that. Nope, she could be a Dandere, you never know. Speaking of which, I recently took a dairy test and I got Dandere. How about that?
Oh, it looks like it's about to get serious. We'll go full screen for this one. Yeah, that was cheap. <clears throat> Man. 
But anyways. Well, anyways. That's understandable. Alright, I'll exchange uh, Tifa's, Tifa's gear with uh, Aerith. And we'll just roll with that. Aerith is pretty tough. Although Sid has shown himself to be pretty tough as well. Plus, he's got that pike. Or that spear. Cloud, Aerith, and Barrett. I never did understand that theme for a hotel. Okay, folks, we're actually going to call it here because I'm actually going to level up my characters a bit more before they go to the Temple of the Ancients. So when we come back next time, that's what we're going to do next. So I want to appreciate everyone for just uh, stopping by and uh, watching the stream with me. It was probably a little bit shorter than usual, but I don't want to have you sitting here for maybe like 30 to 45 minutes of me just, you know, leveling up my character. So I'm going to do that off stream. So we're going to come back on the next time and we're going to run through the Temple of the Ancients and probably whatever else uh, activities it seems reasonable to do. So with that, thanks again for watching. And until next time, happy mixing, everyone.